Assalamu alaikum, this is Naeem Raza from Dome Tours and I am going to unpack the guidebook with regards to what to take on this journey of a lifetime, the journey to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the house of Allah. And you know what? When we are the guests of the banquet of Allah, of course, all the provisions are provided by the Almighty. However, we are creatures of habit and there are certain things that we cannot travel without. So I'm going to share with you my journey of the last 19 odd years of traveling to Hajj every single year, alhamdulillah and the things that I normally take and how I travel. First item I'm going to speak about is something that should not, should not, should not go in your suitcase and is the ihram. And it's the most important item on this journey, particularly for the brothers because they must wear it when they get to the other side of the security or from home or in transit or on the flight onwards. And that is this two pieces of cloth here, the ihram as is known. Now, you might bring with you a belt as well to tie the ihram around you. You might just tie the ihram in the way of a dhoti, as they say, or a lungi, as they say, certainly not as a kilt. And I always take with me a small bottle of perfume in my handbag as well, atar, to don onto the body to beautify the smell of the body and then put the ihram on. The second thing I always try not to put into the suitcase on the way there is a hoodie which I would normally keep with me because on the aircraft it does get quite cold so it's to keep you warm and it will come in handy on the way back as well. For the sisters, of course, a haram is any item of clothing that inshallah will cover them completely including the arms and a headscarf and it's obviously comfortable for them, it's modest, it is loose, it's not see-through and that will basically act as the ihram for them. Remember, putting on the ihram or a piece of clothing for the sisters does not mean you're in the state of ihram. So this is for the sisters. And the other thing I would not put in my suitcase are either a pair of slippers or a pair of sandals with regards to the brothers because you will put one of these on when you are in ihram. So depending on which one you want to use, I normally keep these with me to use in my haram so these will not be going into my suitcase. With regards to other items to take with you into your suitcase, number one, make sure that you have a pair of good walking shoes that you can utilize on the journey itself. And similarly for the sisters, again, for the sisters there is no prescription as to what they can wear in a haram and generally uh, a pair of good walking shoes is always ideal for them. With regards to the brothers, um, I put down a few items here. So a number of cargo trousers and a pair of shorts as well with a number of tops at the end over there. If you are prone to wearing t-shirts, polo shirts and trousers. However, for some of us, we like to wear the traditional juba, the thob when we are in hot countries, particularly in Saudi. So I've packed a couple of them and two or three pajamas as well as a t-shirt and a long shirt as well, the traditional kurta style to go with a pair of trousers that I can wear. With regards to sleeping, you can take traditional sleeping pajamas and a t-shirt or have a, a thob or a shawar kameez, whatever you feel comfortable in. And of course, your various undergarments that you should take with you. Although towels are provided in the hotels, it's always good to bring your own, especially for the days of Hajj in Mina, Muzdalifa and Arafat. Now with regards to personal toiletries and medications, there's a number of things that you can consider taking with you. So there are prescription medicines, there are wet wipes, tissues, plasters, various painkillers, paracetamols, obviously a toothbrush, your toothpaste, hand sanitizer, any perfumes, deodorants, sun cream, any foot cream that you need to take with you, a hairbrush, obviously after Umrah inshallah the brothers will not need that anymore. And of course, lip balm is quite important depending on how you deal with heat. We have a number of vitamin tablets. There is cream for any pain on inflammation. And of course, the real necessities in my opinion that you need to take as brothers in particular. I always recommend a few items for the brothers in particular. Number one, Vaseline. Get a tub of Vaseline or a jar of Vaseline to make sure that you put it between your legs on your thighs so that in the days of a haram where you've got nothing else on but the two toweling harams that when you're walking the skin isn't rubbing together. Of course any beard trimmer that you might need, nose, 
trimmer, a pair of scissors, and of course a nail clipper as well are required in the days of Hajj. Including with some of the essentials, obviously I will take the Dome Tours Hajj guidebook with me, a copy of the Quran, a dua book, and a notebook with a pen. This is very important because it gives you a chance to put your memories down, reflections of what's happening in the days of Hajj, and generally any notes about things to maybe bring back or things to do, or even a schedule for the two, three weeks ahead. With regards to my Scottish brothers and sisters, sadly they will not take any Scottish notes in Saudi. So you must take the English sterling notes, 50s, 20s, 10s ideally. And if you want, maybe get a very, very small amount of reals uh, at London Heathrow Airport or Manchester or Edinburgh or wherever you're flying from. Not too many because you can get a better rate once you're in the country just to be able to buy some food at the airport. And of course your wallet, trying to take only the credit cards that you need with you. Communication is obviously vital. Ideally on Hajj, you want to really disconnect from what's happening around the world and focus on your ibadah. However, if you needs must, a laptop or an iPad, at the moment, as far as I know, there is a slight ban on it in bringing stuff from Saudi with regards to the various airlines. Make sure you check with Dome Tours before you depart as to what is allowed back from Saudi in your hand luggage in particular. So I normally take my laptop with me, obviously all the essential chargers, a set of good headphones, to wear on the flight and during the trip because there is a lot of travel involved and of course your phone you might want to take your own phone plus maybe a second one to put in a saudi sim with regards to suitcase my advice is take something medium like this one i've been taking for the last few years very light and of course when it comes to packing to pack the bigger items first and ensure the space left for you to bring something back and the final two items don't forget a good pair of sunglasses and of course your passports see you in makkah assalamu alaikum Labbaik Allahumma labbaik Labbaik ala sharika laka labbaik Inna alhamdulillah